Kulay na macro critters sa Anilao ay tinawag ito ng karamihan bilang best underwater macro photography diving destination sa buong mundo. Isa ito sa mga dahilan kung bakit ang Pilipinas ay tinaguri ang Asia's premier diving destination. And today, we will show you how enchanting our ocean is through underwater photography. Para sa ating Anilao diving adventure, ay sasamahan tayo ng legendary underwater photographer na si Mr. Jerome Kim. Isa si Jerome Kim sa mga international divers na nahumaling sa ganda ng mga world-class diving destinations dito sa Pilipinas. Philippines located in center of the coral triangle. You can encounter a lot of marine critters. Critters means not only fishes and shrimps. Also, we can see a lot of different kind of corals and marine animals in the Philippines. So it's different from diving in like America or in, in other places. Bukod sa mga micro critters, ay mahilig din si Jerome sa mga pelagic subjects na makikita sa archipelago. Kaya naman halos malibot niya na ang mga best dive sites sa bansa. Kasama sa mga paborito niyang i-capture ang mga school of sardines sa Mualbual, Cebu. Pati na rin ang mga treasure sharks sa Malapascua. ang mga pelagic sa Tubata tulad ng School of Jackfish, Reef Manta Ray, Barracuda School, Whale Sharks, at makukulay na hard and soft coral reef scapes. Pagdating naman sa underwater macro photography, ang anilaw ang isa sa mga paborito ni Jerome. My favorite dive site is Anilao and Lomblon for macros. In Anilao, you can shoot a lot of, you can find a lot of nudie branches. Anilao is most concentrated area for nudie branches. You can find almost every kind of nudie branches. With these captivating images, we can truly say that Anilao is indeed one of the world's best places for underwater macro photography. Approximately, ang dagat ay may lawak na 360 million square kilometers kung saan maaaring magkasya ang 36 United States of America. And it holds over 1.3 billion cubic kilometer of water. 99% din ng Earth's biosphere ay dagat at 1% lamang ang land biosphere. Ang biosphere ay tumutukoy sa lugar or space na pinaninirahan ng mga living things. Ibig sabihin, ang dagat ay napakalawak na may di mabilang na uri ng buhay sa ilalim nito. And underwater photography helps us to discover and understand the mysterious ocean, just like what Jerome's motivation in doing his passion. To promote diving in the Philippines, also the destination. Because Anilao is now very popular to, to foreigners, but the, the other place is not really popular. I want to let people see what they can see in the area. Underwater photography can also be a fulfilling hobby. Kaya naman narito ang top three reasons why you must try out taking snaps under the sea. Number one, you can show how beautiful ocean is. 
not everyone has the opportunity to scuba dive. Sa pamagitan ng mga underwater photos, maipapakita kung gaano kaganda at kamangha-mangha sa ilalim ng dagat. Number 2, underwater photos can raise ocean awareness. Bukod sa ganda ng dagat, binibigyan mo rin sila ng mga mata sa kasalukuyang estado ng ating karagatan. And number three, photos can inspire people to save the ocean. Kapag nakita nating lahat ng ganda at sitwasyon sa ilalim ng dagat, mas mauunawaan natin kung bakit dapat alagaan at protektahan ito. Next, alamin ang mga underwater photography tips for beginners as our diving buddy will be back. Underwater photography is truly an amazing way to capture and share awe-inspiring wonders of the marine life. Kaya naman maraming mga newbie divers at travelers ang nagkakainteres na subukan ito. And a compact camera is a good choice in starting out underwater photography. But what is a compact camera really capable of? Hi guys, we have here with us Mr. Jerome Kim. A renowned underwater photographer who's actually professional in underwater photography. So he'll be teaching me on how to use a compact camera for underwater photography. Uh, actually, I'm DSLR user, but you know I can give you some tips about uh, compact camera. Oh wow! Okay? The difference between compact and DSLR is first is the size and mm -hmm. then the weight. Is this good for beginners? Uh, sure, sure, sure. So before you jump into a DSLR, mm. you need first to try out a compact camera. Right. The DSLR is expensive. You can start with the compact camera and get used to with uh, uh, how to shoot underwater. So you can start with compact camera. It's, mm -hmm. it's more uh, recommendable. Oh, to wow. the beginners, yes. Ang compact camera ay may iba't ibang features tulad ng aperture mode at ang microscopic mode. The difference between A mode and the microscopic mode is the working distance. Especially this camera is designed for the macro things. Oh. You can easily shoot macro without the delay of the shutter and delay of the focusing. Next thing we need to know is to customize the white balance. When you want to customize white balance, you need kind of white slate, white plate or something, white okay. or gray. Importante ang white balance sa photography. Ito ay para ma-capture mo ang proper color ambient ng subject mo, lalo na sa underwater dahil nawawala ang kulay sa ilalim ng tubig. Unang nawawala sa ilalim ng tubig ang color red light at the depth of 5 to 15 feet. Then, the orange light disappears at 25 feet, habang ang yellow light naman ay nawawala at 35 to 45 feet. The colors disappear underwater in the same order as they appear in a color spectrum. Kaya naman kailangan gumamit ng mga photographers ng ilaw o strobes to add color back to their marine subjects. Bukod sa macro photography, pwede mo ring subukan ng wide-angle photography gamit ang compact camera with this dome lens, also known as the wet lens. We call this kind of lens wet lens. Okay, wet wet lens. lens means we can use underwater. underwater. It's cool! Yes. Then, you know, why we need this kind of dome port? Mm, is widen your your view your view view from the your camera obviously ang compact camera ay mas madaling gamitin kaysa sa mga DSLR and aside of being so user friendly compact camera is also a financial wise to have an amazing underwater photography experience i think i'm okay i'm really excited to shoot oh, so yeah. we can now so, try it yeah, underwater i'm so looking forward to yeah. you know Bukod sa mga techniques na tinuro sa atin ni Jerome Kim, we also have five tips for you if you're a beginner and want to try underwater photography. 
Number one, become a skilled diver first. The first thing I emphasize for underwater photographer is to be a good diver first so they can avoid damaging the marine animals like corals. Number two, be familiarized on how to use your proper underwater camera and strobes. Try to uh, study your, your own, camera yeah, your on, on land first, on land first, then you will be more comfortable with when you're shooting underwater. Number three, choose the best dive site for underwater photography with clear visibility and good current condition. Number four, understand your subject and its behavior. The more important thing especially for when you are shooting the behavior shot, like goby or fish yawning, where we should focus. Hmm? Those kind of things, important part of the picture is the, the behavior, not the fish itself, right? Yeah. So we need to focus on the behavior moment. So we need to focus on the mouth, mouth, mouth of the fish. Because it's yawning. Yes, yawning. For some, some fish is like cardinal fish, they're breathing eggs in their mouth. So in that case, we shouldn't focus on the eye of the cardinal fish. You should focus on the, the mouth. mouth. Not only mouth, actually. The eggs inside. Eggs inside. So you need to keep, keep in mind. Number five, tell a story. You need to make some kind of stories in, inside the picture. What photographer want to tell with this picture? Next, watch out as we will try the techniques taught to us by Jerome Kim and learn why underwater photography really matters. Subukan ng mga techniques na tinuro sa atin ni Jerome, we will dive at the Basura Reef. Your eyes been dreaming of. Isa ito sa mga paboritong dive sites ng mga underwater macro photographers. Pwede sa lahat ng certification levels. 10 meters ang average depth, hanggang 30 meters maximum depth. Our dive guide Patrick will also be our spotter to help us in finding a good macro subject. Spotter like him plays important role during underwater photography. Generally, a good spotter should know should know uh, the environment, uh, which makes him a good spotter eventually. Of course, it's not only eyesight; it's a lot of knowledge. And uh, what is very important for the future of the Philippines in, in general diving industry is that uh, spotter are responsible for the creatures they find and take care of them because that is the income source. That is why people are coming and uh, they should be protected and uh, treated well. Bago pa man kami makahanap ng subject, ay may mga nakita kaming mga basura. Remember, every dive is a clean-up dive, so we make sure to get this trash off the ocean. Maya-maya pa, ay nakakita si Patrick ng isang new tea brand na abundant dito sa Anilao. Ready to behold the paradise Long hidden from your eyes Nudie Branks are one of the great subjects for macro underwater photography due to their ornate colors. 
Ang mga marine creatures na ito ay mga sea slug na walang protective shell na may mahigit 2,000 species. Nudies seem to be harmless or defenseless due to their micro size and slow moving features. Averagely, less than 1 inch lamang ang laki nito, pero may mga nudie branks na lumalaki naman hanggang 12 inches long. Pero ang mga critters na ito ay my creative defense mechanism. Maliit man sila sa ating paningin, pero malaki ang ginagampanan nito sa marine ecological balance. Isa sa mga kinakain nito ay mga algae. Dahil dito, nakatutulong ang mga nudie branks sa pag-maintain ng tamang dami ng algae sa dagat. Ang sobrang dami ng algae ay maaaring mag-produce ng toxins na pwedeng makalason sa iba pang marine species. Bukod sa pagiging carnivorous nito, kumakain din ang mga nudies ng mga sting mula sa ibang marine creatures na ginagamit naman nila bilang depensa laban sa kanilang mga predators. Ang galing, di ba? Sometimes we should be like nudie branks, equipping ourselves in order to keep going in life with an ocean of challenges. From a short distance, Patrick spotted another nudie brank. You need to be the right position as I show you. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you should position your camera on the angle. It depends mm -hmm. on the angle, the photo can be totally different. You know, the reason why I dig the sand is there is no place where I can put lower my camera. Mm -hmm. You know, most important thing in underwater is you level your camera angle to the same level with the, your subject. Eye level, we call it eye level. You try to do your best, put your camera to lower, then lower or same, make same level with the eye or the same, you know, the important part of the, your subject. I'm trying to lower the camera. Mm, I, I saw it. Yes, when your camera, you place your camera on top of subject, I put down. Yeah, right? yeah. Yes, right. Try to keep in mind, first, make your camera to the same eye level of your subject. That's Not very important. Mm. You're trying to... Yeah. Um, to look for the antenna in front of the camera. Yes, for nudie branch, the most important part of the nudie branch is the rhinopore. The antenna oh. of the nudie branch, we call it rhinopore. rhinopore. So, focusing on rhinopore is most important. For the fishes, most important part is the eye. Okay? Mm. Every subject has very important part. So, you need to uh, recognize where, you know, you need to remember where you can focus. So okay. sometimes it's not the whole subject. Yeah, like not whole the subject. Something that you focus on. So you need to concentrate where to focus first. So how can you say about my skills? <laughs> for still, the first time and for, for the first student. time, you are really ex. You made really excellent photo. You wow! Know. Yay! <laughs> you heard that, guys. <laughs> But that's very simple subject. Yeah. But how you place your light, you really can make different photos. Thank you. Yeah. You think I can push through with underwater photography? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Why not? Underwater photography truly levels up our diving adventure. Pero may mga negatibo kayang epekto ito sa mga marine life? Actually, mas sensitive pa to mga wildlife kasi hindi naman sila sanay sa tao. Actually, yung iba lumalangoy pala yun, di ba? Lahat to, yung senses nila, activities nila, nagdistorbo sila, ibis na kumakain sila, nagugulat sila sa, sa flash nyo. Tapos may stress factor pa yun na maapektuhan yung uh, physiology nila. Baka magkasakit pa sila dahil nasistress sila. Yung iba, ginagalaw pa nila yung mga hayo para lang mapicturan. Kaya nga, to be a responsible photographer or diver, di ba? Dapat hindi natin masyado minamanipulate yung, yung animal, hindi siya gagalawin. Kung pwede, natural light para hindi siya madistorb. Dahil sa mga risks na ito, ay dapat lamang na mas lalong maging maingat tayo when dealing with marine life. Come and join our journey down into the reefs and tides. And we should always put the positive roles of underwater photography on top of our priority. 
Thank you very much for being so patient with me and for teaching me the skills and how to do it and all. I, I've i learned a lot from this session. I can say that it's like a training. And I'm very grateful to to be um, a student of a oh. world-renowned <laughs> Jerome Kim, guys. Thank you so much. I'm yeah, very yeah. lucky. <laughs> yeah, it was my pleasure as well. Lily. Thank you very yeah. much. Just remember the three things why underwater photography matters. Through these images, we can show the beauty of amazing life under the sea. We can build awareness that can inspire people to care, save, and protect our ocean. Just like what Jack Custu said, people protect what they love. See you again next week and join your diving buddy in making waves beneath the dive. Sea, the dive.